reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. It's your boy Black Lightning. This video is for animal lover. And for the people who are trying to figure out how to wire a fire alarm to batteries. So, Animal Lover has a BG12 and a 692-5A. He said it's a mini horn, but I have a 692-7A, which is a mini horn and strobe. But... Since it's early in the morning, I'm not going to be hooking up the mini horn and testing it. So, but I don't know if your mini horn has wires or terminals on it. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to, you know what, I'm going to show you how to wire the mini horn, but I'm not going to test it. And you said... Um, how to hook it up to 9 volt batteries. So, let me just tell you, these batteries are really old and they're dead, basically. But you get your three 9 volt batteries, right? You see, this is positive, that's negative. What you're going to do is you're going to take the positive, stick it into the negative. Boom, that, there, you got 18 volts right there. And then you got to take this positive is sticking into the negative. Boom, you got 27 volts. Now, it's not bad if the alarm runs on 27 volts, but maybe just give you a warning, it will be loud. And so, as you can see, the circle is your positive, and that big flat one is the negative. And so you just put your wires right there. And yeah, so that's how you um, make a um, series with 20, uh, 20, 27 volts uh, with three 9 volt batteries in the series. But like I said, these are dead. And so I'm actually just going to use a lithium drill battery, but it's still going to give you a general idea. So. Why did this keep on going out of focus? There we go. So, the BT12 and the PG12L is it's the same. It's just the lock is different, so don't worry. On the back, um, your positive will be going into here, your first terminal. Your second terminal is positive out. Or you can have it wired to negative in and negative out. It doesn't really matter. But I mostly put it on positive, so positive power will go in from the battery, go into this terminal, and positive out will go from this terminal to the positive on this alarm. So let me just show you step by step. First, you got to get a wire, right? And... You just gotta take a screwdriver, unscrew this, and then you can stick this wire, this wire in. Screw it back in. Make sure it's secured in there. Screw it in tight. There you go. Now it's in there securely, and then. Like I said, and so I'm actually just going to wire mine in a horn strobe series. So you're going to take one positive from the um, strobe. Boom. Now see, this is your positive out, so when you pull it, the voltage will go out from this terminal and go into the positive on the strobe. And this is your positive out on the alarm. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to hook it up to the positive on the mini horn. So, let's 
also you see those two terminals this is positive that's negative it also indicates it on the alarm itself you see that plus and minus this terminals positive that's negative so you get your screwdriver screw it in now for the negative is less complicated than the positive all you have to do is literally hook the negative from the battery straight from the battery and so this is what you're going to do you're going to connect this and if you if your if your alarm has wires be sure you use a wire nut which is this and so Hook that in, twist it, and then put the wire nut on so it stays together. Now this wire goes to the negative on the mini horn. Screw it in securely. Boom. That's how you wire a um um a mini horn strobe to a pull station or a alarm to a pull station. Um and so like I said, I'm not going to um have this hooked up. But um, you, you'll get the general idea. So when you pull this, obviously, the alarm will be going off right now. Because now you just created a closed circuit. This means the electricity can now go through this pull station and into this alarm. As you can see, the switch is flipped down. That's closed. And the normal state is open, right? Open means that no electricity can get through the circuit. The circuit is not complete. Okay. And so in this state, nothing will happen, obviously. But when you pull the alarm, the switch goes down. Boom, the alarm will go off. But just like I said, it's early in the morning. And yeah. And so that's how you wire a... Um, and so, like I said, if your mini horn, so if, if yours is just a mini horn, um, just disregard the strobe part and you do the same thing, positive in, um, uh, from the battery, positive out to the alarm and you put that to the positive terminal. And then for the negative, you just um, hook it out straight from the battery into the negative terminal. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's how you wire a fire alarm and a post station to um, batteries. And like I said, don't forget... This is negative, the round one is positive, okay? And this is how you create uh, 27 volts. Now, your alarm is capable of doing three volts over. It's not going to damage it, don't worry. So, this is how you um, hook up. Do 27 volts in a series um, with 9-volt batteries. And then that's how you hook up. A pull stations to alarm and like I said you just hook these place to the corresponding spots like I said black on negative I mean yeah black on negative white or red on positive and so that's how you wire a notification appliance
to a pull station to three nine volt batteries or a lithium 20 volt batteries or two 12 volt batteries and for 12 volt batteries my bad 12 volt batteries as you can see is this is in my ms5 ud but um this wire you you need a wire to jump um from positive to negative from one battery to the other and then as you can see in the back there that's negative that's positive as you can see and yeah so you just jump this and you put the um circuit on negative and positive so yep that's how you wire a fire alarm to a pool station. Hope this helps. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Black Lightning. Peace out.